uh, to understand the F uh, Fijian uh, mentality is to know that uh, Fijians have understood something very important in life and that is you are not the most important person in the world meaning me I'm not the most important person in the world the most important person is the person I'm interacting with okay therefore I must always try to add to my value by contributing something to that person a lot of tourists come to Fiji they always say uh, Fijians are some of the most friendliest people in the world they meet you with a big smile well when I meet you I have this need that I need to contribute to your life because I may not have something to give to you the least I can do is to smile and hopefully I'll make you happy in that way I'm doing something for you okay and by doing something to you my value in as far as you are concerned will increase a little bit okay you might be asking why do I need to increase my value in the village setting well respect well the other question is why do I need the respect okay um, nowadays respect is maybe a luxury but during olden times it can mean life or death for you okay let me give you a Fijian uh, scenario this is before the white people came in the village setting say a chief has his house built and he has 18 posts on this house when they are about to put the post in those post holes that they've already dug each post hole will have a a person in there and then they'll ram the post on top of that person okay what do we do the first people we go to are the slaves in the village sometimes called Bakola when there's a war we capture people and we take them back to the village and these people become our slaves uh, but when there is an occasion like the building of the, the chief's house where we need able-bodied person to go down there and look after the post uh, in the lifespan of that house we pick from these Bacolas okay say for example there was only 15 Bacolas in the village the Bacola are the lowest rung of the ranking uh, uh, system in the village and uh, the service really is to ensure that uh, you are slightly above that rung or, or just to make sure that you're not uh, as close as possible to that lowest rung because when they start picking people they'll start from the bottom and work their way up so really what the Cebu Cebu is for is a ransom for your life so in the past the respect or the value we have in a village could mean life and death for you with that out of the way let's get into the proper uh, Cebu Cebu ceremony the first thing when you are approaching the, the house that you are going to do your Cebu Cebu or the village is to announce yourself in Fijian we call this Tama okay, what you do is the man will say something like this Dua O Dua O is a short form for Endua Ongo Endua Ongo okay? he is saying there is somebody here and then the people from the house will say Oi Dua Oi Dua means Oi, there's someone there. Okay, in that way they acknowledge you and then you can enter the house. Okay, if it's only a group of ladies, they will say Eva can Dua, meaning uh, there may be someone here. Okay, women. See, our culture is uh, a paternal culture, it's male uh, dominant. Therefore, when the women announce themselves, they will say, maybe there's one here short for maybe there's someone here okay okay when they say oh in acknowledging them the women will go through the kitchen door or the side door the men when they acknowledge you you will go through the front door okay so when you come in the first thing you do is find a place to sit on the floor. If there's a settee in the house, ignore the settee 
or if there's a bed, ignore the bed. Don't go and sit somewhere up there. Sit on the floor. Usually there's mat there. You sit on the floor. The most important people in the front, the lesser important in the back. So that's how we'll, you will sit. Okay, when you come into the house, at first, pleasantries will be exchanged, bula and all that, maybe introductions will be made, and all these things will be done. After uh, all this uh, small talk has been uh, done away with, uh, someone will say, meaning, allow us to do a presentation. And when they say, oh yes, yes, of course, uh, do it. Okay, the first thing you need to do is, you need to address who is this presentation going to. Okay, normally you will ask someone outside before you enter the chief's house, what is the name of their tribe or their Yabusa? What is the name of their tribe? Okay, and you will start off by saying, Wakaturang Sakatumanda, Wana, whatever the tribe is. Wakaturang Saka simply means respectfully you know literally translating the word it uh, means uh, in a chiefly way the most important uh, part in the sevu sevu is the beginning where you uh, clarify who you are addressing this to and for what purpose you may be there the middle section is for why uh, what uh, who and uh, when and how and all these things. The ending is the second most important part of the civil service. In different places of Fiji, they have different ways of ending it, but the common thing, you will try to say something that is uh, the common denominator for you two. Uh, for example, if you know that you worship the same God, you will say, may we forever worship the same God. This will be the end of this video. The other side in how they're receiving the presentation is a subject matter for a different video. This is Jesse Tiamo, Vinaka.